An interesting variation on the cluster dendrogram is a circular dendrogram. It's fundamentally the same thing. It starts with everything together, then breaks it out in branches, but arranges it radially. And so let's take a quick look at how this works using the same cocktail data we used for the other examples. Again, there's only one bin that we have to fill in. It's the one that contains a hierarchical data. So I'm going to put first the cocktails, and then within that, the ingredients. And then when you come down here, you see that you have this single branch that joins everything. And then we have these various drinks arranged in a circle around and then it branches out to each of their ingredients. Now one of the advantages of this is that it's a lot easier to read the ingredients in this chart than it was in the last one. And in certain circumstances, the circle can be a more intuitive layout, especially if you're talking about something that maybe repeats over time. I've also seen genealogical charts arranged this way, like circles. And so the radial approach can be, again, another way of getting people's attention, which is an important thing in data visualization, but sometimes even making it easier to read the structure of the data, which is your overall goal anyhow.